What's up everybody? This is Dal Stone here. Today in this tutorial, we're going I'm going to be teaching you how to you do a rotation array um, or a radius array. It's it's essentially in Maya, it's the duplicate special, uh, but uh, you can do it in the options and add a rotation right in Maya. It's just one thing. Uh, in Blender, there is an extra step that you're going to need to do uh, to make it rotate uh for your array so i'm just going to quickly show you how to do that so this is essentially a fan uh or I, let's pretend i'm trying to create a fan and what i want to do is i want to have five uh, five blades or six blades in total uh and it's going around this center hub here so i just have i simply quickly just modeled uh, a cylinder for the hub and a cube with a little tapering at the very bottom so the very first thing that you're going to want to do is, and I'm actually going to move this to make this even more complicated than it actually is, uh, move it upwards here so it's not into the center. So the most, so the very first thing you want to do is you want to, because because I've rotated it, moved it around and stuff, um, you're going to notice the scaling and the rotation and location and all this stuff has been changed. What you want to do is you want to freeze transformations uh, for those in Maya. Uh, in Blender, it's just applying your um, it's just applying your transforms. So I'm just gonna go here, and that's gonna freeze everything, right? As you can see there. And what's gonna happen is your your pivot point or your origin is has now changed. So what you want to do is you obviously want to rotate it in the center of this hub. So I'm just gonna select the center of this hub, and you're gonna notice that the the pivot point or the origin for this cylinder is actually uh, still in the center. So all you have to do here is go to uh, object, go to snap, cursor to selected, and now your 3D cursor is now smacked into the center. Now you can go back to your cube and you can right click, go to set origin, go to 3D cursor. So now if you were to go and rotate, it's going to rotate within the center. Okay, so that's the first thing you want to do. Uh, awesome. All right. So now that that's done, what you want to do is you want to add, so I'm going to shift A to add, and I want to add an empty plane axis. All right, so it's essentially just a locator for those in Maya, coming from Maya, it's just a locator. And now I'm going to go to the fan here, and I'm going to go to my modifiers. I'm going to add a modifier, I'm going to add array. And then here, I'm going to turn off relative offset. I'm going to go to constant offset. I'm going to go object offset. And I'm going to, if if you can see the, the axes, then you can just click on the eyedropper and just click it. Or you can uh, go down the list of menu. It's up, it's up to you. So now I have it selected to the, the, the locator or the empty plane axes. And then now I can select the plane axes and I can rotate it by 60. Okay, and now I can move the count here to six, and now I have this simple array, and obviously if I go back and I wanna like edit, edit this, I can, and it'll change it in all the other fans, or all the other blades, et cetera, et cetera. Hopefully that video helps you out. If it does, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And I'll see you all again next time. Bye now.